It is finally zucchini season, which means it's affordable, it's flavorful, and it's everywhere. But if you're like me and you've already tired yourself of all of your traditional recipes, then you, my friend, are in the right place. Because today we are taking that versatile summer squash, slicing it into strips, covering it in a Parmesan cheese and breadcrumb coating that actually sticks, and then baking it in the oven to get the most crispy yet tender zucchini fries. Oh yeah, and I'm London and you are watching Evolving Table, where we make healthier spins on classic recipes. So let's jump straight in and get to cooking. For this recipe, you'll need four medium-sized zucchini, or about one and a fourth to one and a half pounds. Opt for the small to medium-sized zucchini squash instead of the gargantuan ones you'll sometimes find. These have more flavor and will also be easier to cut into the right shape for fries. Also, try to look for zucchini that are all roughly the same size and shape to ensure they cook up evenly. To cut them into fries, you'll want to first trim both ends from all of the zucchini. Then, cut them in half lengthwise, and then again into quarters. You should end up with half inch strips that are roughly five inches in length. Next, we'll make our coating station. Much like other breaded chicken or vegetable recipes, we're going to be using the three bowl technique today. This is the secret to making sure that the coating actually sticks to your zucchini fries and doesn't just slide right off. Make sure the bowls are large enough so they will comfortably fit the zucchini fries with a little wiggle room around the edges so you can easily flip them over. In the first bowl, you'll wanna add one fourth cup of an all purpose flour, or a gluten-free one-to-one blend can be used. In the second bowl, whisk together one large egg and one tablespoon of milk to create an egg wash. And the third bowl is for all of the flavor. Add half a cup of regular breadcrumbs. A gluten-free kind can be used if needed. Aaliyah's is my go-to brand. Half a cup of grated, not shredded, Parmesan cheese. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. 1 4th teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of salt, and 1 4th teaspoon of black pepper to taste. Whisk this all together until combined. Add 2 to 3 zucchini slices to the first bowl of flour and toss until they are well coated. Rub the flour down the sides of each slice to ensure every bit is covered. The coating won't stick to the areas that are left untouched. Shake off any excess flour, and then dip the coated slice into the egg wash. Using a fork, toss the zucchini, and then pick it up to let the extra egg wash drip off. Finally, place it into the third bowl with the breadcrumb mixture, pressing it in to make sure it really sticks, and then shake off any excess. Repeat this process with the remaining strips. Add the zucchini to a parchment paper lined baking sheet in a single layer. It's super important that none of the strips touch or else they won't crisp up fully. And then bake in a preheated 425 degree oven for 18 to 20 minutes, flipping them over halfway through cooking. Serve them up immediately with a side of ketchup, ranch dressing, or marinara sauce. Oh my gosh, these look so good. I cannot wait to dig in, but I think I'm gonna be here for a while. So for you, if you have not had your fair share of zucchini recipes yet, I have got you covered. You've gotta check out these delicious dishes that feature zucchini right over here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next one. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>